We are following late news from Minneapolis, where a jury has just found a police officer guilty in the shooting death of an unarmed woman. Dean Reynolds is at the courthouse for us. Dean. Jeff, after a 21-day trial, Mohammed Noor, the former Minneapolis police officer, was convicted in the shooting death of Justine Damon back in 2017. The jury found him guilty of third-degree murder and manslaughter, but acquitted him on a degree, a second degree murder charge. This is a tragic shooting that did not have to happen. It took two years to get here. Their lives intersected for a brief minute in a dark alley. An unarmed barefoot woman in her pajamas looking for help and a police officer responding to her 911 call. On July 15, 2017, Justine Damon called to report a possible sexual assault near her home. Mohammed Noor testified he and his partner drove down the alley with their lights off in search of a suspect. He said that while the car was stopped, he heard a loud slap on the side of his squad car, and Damon suddenly appeared outside the driver's side window. Fearing for his partner's life, Noor said he fired at Damon from the passenger seat. The question was always whether the jury believed that slap actually happened. The case tested the legal limits of a state law that allowed for the use of deadly force if a threat was perceived. Throughout the three-week trial, Noor was stoic, but the shooting shook the city to its core. Protesters marched, the police chief was fired, the mayor was quickly voted out. During closing arguments, Noor's attorney slapped the lectern to simulate the sound that allegedly startled the officers. Prosecutors said the slap never happened and none of Damon's DNA was found on the car, which was washed days after the incident. Mike Freeman is the Hennepin County attorney. Well, the evidence showed that the officer acted unreasonably. After the verdict was read aloud, Noor was handcuffed and led away. He is now in custody, and he could face as much as 25 years in prison on the murder charge alone. Jeff? Dean, thanks very much.